I'm Sabrina Samuels, and welcome to my show, Upfront and Personal. It's my intention to deliver information that will help us maintain a quality lifestyle in all aspects of our lives. So let's get started. of the Sabrina Samuels Show with me, Sabrina Samuels. I'd like to thank all of my fabulous ladies and gents for tuning in to this edition. I want you to know I certainly do appreciate your support. Thank you for viewing this show. Thank you for watching. And thank you for sharing my video blog. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do so. Did you like my outfit? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of shocked with myself, but I've been getting so many responses from you for me to model my designer outfits. And you know what? I appreciate that. Before we get started, I'd like for you to know where I got this beautiful designer outfit. It's from Unlimited Fashions, owner Samantha Wall Layler out of Sacramento, California. We're going to give her name and phone number and email address so if you'd like to shop with her, you will not be disappointed. Her garments are quality. I guarantee you that. And they're very reasonable. Look at this beautiful blouse for the holiday season. And it's decolletated in its own rhinestone choker. The palazzo pants are exciting. They're comfortable oh, and warm. And it's just cozy for the season coming up, the winter season coming up. So make sure you check out Unlimited Fashions. Okay, and also don't forget to go to my website, sabrinasamuels.com. It'll take you to the Beckman Method. There you will find everything you need to know about me, my business. I've been in business since 1982. My husband and I, we have done a beautiful job together over the years. And we have our online training program available to you now. And I guarantee you, you will love this training program. So just check it out. And I reduce the price. This price is reduced for my fabulous ladies. So check it out. Enroll in the program. You are going to learn a lot. Absolutely. Okay, let's get to the bottom line. And that is the question of the week. And it says here... What not to do when you get into a new relationship? You know, last, uh, the last segment I did was about how to catch your husband or how a man looks for a woman for his wife. And I got several people commenting, several people emailed me about the topic. But I, I picked three questions. And I was so excited about this one. What not to do when you get into a new relationship? Let me tell you, that's a, that's a good question. Because so many people sabotage themselves when they get into a new relationship, especially some of us ladies. And I tell you why. Because sometimes we can sabotage a beautiful new relationship and it doesn't go any further because we're taking on past garbage. We're taking on garbage that we had from the previous relationship that didn't work. So many women, after talking to them, will tell me, well, my past relationship, my boyfriend did this or that, or my last marriage, my husband did this or that, and I just, you know, I'm not gonna take it from any man. 
Well, what happens is you take that negative information or that negative experience that you've had and you actually bring it into the new relationship and you make the new person suffer behind what somebody else did. And then you self-sabotage yourself and you might just really like that person. You might really like the person, but you have brought garbage in. Well, my, you know, I, I was hurt and, you know, my, my past relationship, you know, uh, this happened to me or that happened to me and I'm not taking it or you blow up on your new relationship and then you explain later, well, that happened to me in the past, so I, I'm, I'm wounded. Leave the negativity out. Leave the past bad experiences out. When God blesses you and you find a good person, a good woman, a good man, who you want to be with, a significant other, who you want to be with, build on the positive, build on the good, build on what you're trying to achieve. You can share sometimes some of your negative experiences, especially if you see the experience that you're currently in going in that direction. You can say something like, well, you know what, let me explain something to you now. I don't like when men holler at me or denigrate me in public. I'm not going to have that. Now, if we're going to have a relationship, I want you to know my past relationship, I had issues with those problems. I'm not going to do it to you, and I don't want you to do it to me. And then you go on with the relationship, and if a person does it to you and you've already explained to them that that's not going to work, not acting it out, but explaining to them that if that is not going to work, then you have to figure out, is this what I want to deal with again? Is this what I want to go through? You don't want to do that. Don't bring negativity into the relationship. You know what? I, when I first got married, and before that, my husband and I did a courting process. Courting or, you know, that's back in the old days. But we spent time together. We spent mind time together. Over the phone, in person, going out on dates before we got personal, too personal. We spent time learning about what makes each other tick. We spent time learning how can this person help me and how can I help this person? Because you want to be a good helpmate on both sides. So when you really figure that out and then you get to know a person. If a person has certain problems and you see it already, don't think you're going to change it. Because only that person and God can change it. And I'm talking about both sides now. I'm talking about the man as well as the woman. You can bring certain things up. I remember a long time ago, uh, in my teens, uh, early, not teens, but early 20s, I met this interesting man. He's just, oh, just handsome and charismatic and had a nice sports car and, oh, he had all drunk. But he drank too much. And, you know, sometimes I would catch him drunk. And I said, I'm not getting in this car with this fool. And he'd drive us off the cliff, you know. So I happened to, you know, one day happen to bring up his uh, problem, his drinking problem, and he got very disturbed with that. And I said, okay, got to go. And I had to make a firm decision. All the qualities that he had was great, but I had to make a decision on what am I going to do? Am I going to deal with this long term, or am I going to nip it in the bud? He was fun when I met him someplace. I didn't have him drive me because I didn't know what was going on with him. But, you know, every now and then we would hook up, as the old saying goes. But I knew what I wanted in a man, in a relationship, in a marriage, etc. So that was a very good question. And I hope that I have answered it. What you don't want to do is bring negativity, some of your past experiences. And you don't want to learn from your mistakes, too. I had to learn from my mistakes. because you, I always tell you all I'm not perfect. But I do learn from my mistakes. And I don't bring that and carry that on into my life, into my next relationship when I was dating, when I was courting, or into my marriage now. I try to be the best that I can be. And it takes time. Some people say, I remember talking to a lady once. She said, oh, honey, no, I'm setting my ways. I said, well, you just be setting your ways and keep getting what you're getting. 
or you elevate your mind and elevate yourself and move forward. So just don't forget to go to my website and see what we have to offer. And we have some exciting things to offer. And don't forget to share my video blog with your friends and family. Push this because this is some good information. I don't have all the fancy bells and whistles or the, the TV uh, reality shows to push me. I do it by the grace of God in you. And I appreciate you 110%. Until next week, remember you're a winner. Believe it. Know it in your heart and soul to be true. Let no one bring you down. And don't bring yourself down and don't bring anyone else down. And with hard work and perseverance, we'll continue to move forward. I love you. And remember, God loves us very much. Our Heavenly Father is there for us. He helps us through so many things we have no clue, but he's there. Until next week, I wish you love, peace, happiness, and our Heavenly Father's divine order. See you soon. Bye now.